All right, hello everybody. Probably we're not expecting a live action video, but <laughs> got something kind of cool to show all of you guys. So, well, Lucky Star Moedro in person, right? Physical form. Um, I'll explain why exactly I decided to get myself two copies in just a moment, but I just kind of wanted to show it off. So, you know, it says Lucky Star Moe Drill. It's rated uh, for all ages, I guess so. Uh, so it says, let's Moe exercise. <laughs> Basically, it's like, uh, is your head or brain, you know, tired or getting tired out or something? You know, um, it's like refreshes your uh, brain on math is basically what that's saying. You have this Miyuki on here. It's cool. Um, back. I don't think the back's been shown off as much uh, online. So you have this as well. You know, it talks about the different modes in the game. Uh, Keisan, which means calculations. Irohandan, uh, color, um, like choice, color distinction. And then uh, Shin, Shinji Kyoku, which is like instant memory. We've seen all these in the videos. Um, so, Moe na ono no koto, atame no taiso. So it's like. Um, Head exercise with uh, Moe girls, right? <laughs> Interesting that. So yeah, um, and it shows off the different games and you have all this. Um, so yeah, it's kind of cool. But yes, why do I have this beyond just for coolness sake? Um, and why do I have uh, two copies of it? Uh, you might be wondering. And that's actually because of the fact that the game does have multiplayer, actually. <laughs> local multiplayer. You would maybe not expect that. But it does have local multiplayer. And it's actually not really possible to do the local multiplayer on an emulator. So I've actually gone out of my way to buy two copies of this game. Um, so I can play it on two different DSs. And probably for the first time documented anywhere on the internet <laughs> to play these games or show off the, the local multiplayer. Um, so let's get that started up. In the meantime, uh, let me just kind of show you maybe the inside of the case if you're interested. I have actually one of these has a... Okay, one of these has the Club Nintendo Japanese card. Uh, I won't blur out the letters, but there's no way to redeem it, I don't think, anymore. And if you can, uh, good for you. But yes, that did in fact actually come with a Club Nintendo uh, like slip to enter stuff with, <laughs> enter your code. And uh, my other copy, luckily enough, actually does come with the manual. And I have scanned these manuals in the box and everything, and uh, I'll try to make those available. Um, but we can kind of quickly skim through it. Uh, some things to show you. Uh, one thing on this box is, if you notice in Nabikae, uh, there's like six pictures to arrange. This is, never actually happens in the game, as far as I know. The highest difficulty for Nabikae, um, or yeah, is four. Um, so that's interesting. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> Perhaps a detail only I would notice or care about, but there you go. Here's the back of it. Uh, some phone numbers you can call. Uh, light speech is the, uh, what do you call it? The voice recognition library that was used. It's the options. Right, the options screen has uh, the Miyakawa uh, sisters on it. Um, but... In this manual, they have it with Konata. It's an interesting little difference. <laughs> and right, you see Konata is like on the, the menu for picking your file. And that's another detail that didn't make it into the final game. There's a lot of beta screenshots here. One really interesting thing is this Konbo Ichiran, right? Which is like, like a place where it would show all the different like combos you could get. Like three in a row, two in a row. Um, all five of the same number, right? Like the combos you can do when you do the math, uh, <laughs> do case on, right? Do, do calculations against opponents. Um, they have like this listing where you can see all the ones that you've unlocked or ones you've done, right? 
but that's not to be found anywhere in the menus, right? See, it goes right below koi shitsu, right? Which is like a, the where you look at the costumes. So if you see here, koi shitsu, there's no, <laughs> there's nothing like that, right? It's gone. Here's another new detail on um, drama mode. This, uh, I guess, what would, would have shown up on the top screen during some point in drama mode. This doesn't actually show up in the final game. It's another beta screenshot. Um, all right. So now let's actually check out the multiplayer. Uh, let me turn up the sound. I'm say the 3DS. Right? Let's take that look at that. Maybe I should get my styluses out. That might help. I'm recording this with one hand, so forgive me for not being perfect. So let's go to drama mode, not drama mode, but gallery. And let's do the battle mode. So the battle mode, you already have to see you do it on two different players. You pick your two characters, let's have our 3DS be Konata. And this one will be Kagami. Actually, Kagami, right? Kagami is Mir, but Ka Kagami is the name, right? Anyway, <laughs> so interestingly enough, you have to pick an item to hold, right? As well as, yeah, you have to have an item equipped. So we need to equip an item. So let's have Conan to equip. Which one is this? This is a like, phone, a black telephone. That's what that is. And we will equip something on this character. Or they, she has um, a register receipt, so we already have something equipped for her. Or Kagami, or Kagami. <laughs> Kagami is how Patty says her name, which is what's <laughs> causing me to say it that way. So let's play. All right. So when you you gotta pick like parent or child. That's just like host or person who's joining. It's the child and the host. It doesn't matter really, just one person has to be each role. So let's have the 3DS be the parent and have the DSi be the child. And they will connect. And on an emulator, it will fail right after connecting um, for whatever reason. That just doesn't get past that screen. But you can see here. Alright, so now we have just a battle, right? So, this is all that there really is. So let's try to get, say, uh, DSI. Let's get you to answer a question. Eight. Right, so... <laughs> Alright, so if you get it right first, then on your side, you'll get the right answer, and then on their side, they'll take damage. So let's have the DSI win. Um, this just goes on until one person wins. I'm, I'm writing it and <laughs> looking into the phone camera, so it's not so great. So the loser actually has to say something, so... Um, what is it? Reja Shito. Do they have register? No. Kuro Kuro Denwa. Rip. So uh, what ends up happening is that the loser has to actually say the name of the item that they have. And if they say the name of the item that they have correctly, then they do not lose their item. Um, but if you do not say the name of the item correctly, then they will in fact have their item lost. The other player will get their item, right? So it's kind of like a interesting way to trade items or I guess uh, bet items. It's kind of the idea of this. Uh, it's kind of a weird <laughs> feature, um, especially since if you say the name of your item correctly, you don't lose it. Um, it's an odd mechanic. 
So I, yeah, they had Regashito, right? So I was saying the DSI's item, which was right, not Kuro Denwa, which was uh, the item that they had, right? The black telephone. So anyway, uh, so I just kind of wanted to show off this multiplayer because I don't think anybody's ever seen it. <laughs> and I just thought it would be cool to show off. Um, yeah, see ya.